Hey everybody, welcome to this week's weekly roundup. Uh, a little bit of a list, but not as long as last week. So first of all, today is Arbor Day. So I would encourage you to get out in the community, plant a tree in your yard, walk around Brankwork Park or one of our other heavily forested parks, um, learn to identify trees. The DNR has a really nice link of ways to identify trees. Just basically take a moment to um, appreciate Arbor Day, talk to your family and your friends and your children about it. It's a really important day for us to um, kind of pay respect to the trees we have in our community and how important they are to the recreational opportunities we have here. Uh, we've posted about this a few times and I, this is kind of our last ditch effort. We have a vacancy for an alder person in the city council in district five and those, um, the way that we fill those through our city code is that when there's a vacancy like this, we have um, kind of a, a special selection process using the Common Council. So if you're interested in serving the deadline to submit that information, which is just a resume and a cover letter is today at four. Um, I think it's a resume and a cover letter. I'm, you don't quote me on that. Check the city website and the Facebook page. It has the exact details of what you would need, but today at four o'clock. Um, it's that time of year again, we're doing hydrant flushing, which means um, that starting next week on the 3rd and then also the week after, which I think is the week of the 10th, um, we'll be flushing hydrants throughout the community. So when you see hydrant flushing in your area, the two things that we ask of you is try not to use your water during the day and do not do laundry. And we're asking for people to wait to do that until after 4 p.m. And when you go to do it, just to run your water and check it and make sure there's not rust in the water. We wouldn't want to ruin any of, of your laundry. If you're interested in why we do hydrant flushing or you know, kind of the, the frequently asked questions about it, we do have that um, on our website and post it as well. So we launched TextMyGov and it's been a great rollout. We have really good participation, which is really encouraging to see. Um, the, the neatest part about TextMyGov is you can kind of skip that phone call or um, catch us during off hours when you perhaps can't call in and ask those questions. So um, if you text the word hi to 920 245 8545. Um, it'll kind of start the prompting process to ask you what information you're looking to report. We have um, a handful or two of, of different topics out there right now. You sending in these um, text messages will help us um, understand which um, items and which topics we need to add into this feature as well. So please consider using it. You can also sign up to receive text messages from us. So for example, if there's a water main break and we want you to you know, stay away from 3rd Street, for example, if you're signed up and we text that out to you, you'll receive that information. We did meet this week to go over kind of some governance around what information we'll be sending out so you won't be getting text messages from us every week. Um, there's just probably like 10 or so topics that really warrant that mass texting to the community. So we'll be mindful of that. So I would encourage you to opt in for city alerts. And if you're interested in learning more about how TextMyGov works, we put together an awesome video um, that walks you through kind of step-by-step step how to work through it. So Park and Rec side, um, for programming, we are offering some new classes, which I'm pretty excited about. So the first one is Watercraft 101, where we'll be teaching people for just a couple of weeks, kind of the basics of using a kayak, how to balance, how to move safely, how to get in and out safely. We're doing that June 16th through the 30th on a Wednesday. So the, the Facebook page and the website are a good spot for more information on that. We also start our watercraft rentals this weekend. So watercraft rentals start tomorrow and they go through September 30th. You have to be 16 years with a valid driver's license to rent without a parent. Um, watercraft rentals are available for use on the Rock River and we rent them out of the uh, Senior and Community Center on First Street. It is $10 an hour for a city resident for a single kayak or paddleboard, $15 for a non-city resident. And then $15 for a city resident or $22.50 for a non-city for a tandem kayak. So uh, for more information on how you can rent those, go to the Park and Rock Facebook page or check out their website. Uh, we are also still doing registration for Rock River Day Camp. So this is um, beginning in June. It's $100 a week. It's a really just kind of neat outdoor um, activity-based um, option for child care for the summer. And then because it's kind of that time of year as well, we're starting to um, advertise for discount tickets. So we, we do sell at the Senior and Community Center discount tickets for the zoo, for Noah's Ark, Wisconsin Ducks, Mount Olympus, Six Flags, some uh, miniature golf. There's, there's a variety to choose from. So call the office if you're looking for more information on that. We did share this week um, that we'll be opening, we are planning anyway, on opening the Aquatic Center. 
Um, yesterday, there was some guidance posted to the Park and Rec Facebook page about the Aquatic Center. Um, just with the evolution of the CDC guidelines this week on um, outdoor um, activity, we, we removed what was posted yesterday. We will be revising that and, and reposting and reproviding some information likely next week on the pool. Um, what you'll see mainly is there was, in the, the document that was posted yesterday, there was the word requirement for face covering. Um, we have not required face coverings um, throughout the pandemic. And given the guidance from the CDC and where we're at right now, we will not be requiring face coverings at the aquatic center either. So that's one of the biggest changes. But we are, um, given that the CDC provided some good guidelines this week about outdoor activity, we will be updating that and resharing it next week. Uh, on that topic, so a couple of things with um, with COVID. We first about the vaccine clinics. So we started to offer walk-in clinics at our clinics, which is, has worked out quite well. So just make sure that if um, you're interested and you're not quite sure if you can make an appointment, watch our Facebook page. That's going to be the fastest place to under to learn about the walk-in hours that we have. Um, and then we also are switching some of the times to the evenings. So we're doing late afternoon into the evening, um, and that hopefully will help accommodate some schedules. Uh, just last night, the Board of Health approved some changes that you'll see starting next Wednesday. So we normally post um, the phase reopening kind of color indicators, and then we also share um, a graph with some data points. What you'll see next week, because of the Board of Health approval, is an updated presentation on Wednesday where we'll share kind of that case count information, some vaccine information, and then relevant current topics we want to share with you from the week. Um, and then the phase reopening plan will be shifting to more general guidance that does not have phases. And it also is accounting for vaccinated or not vaccinated. So we suspect that we'll be sharing that information um, next Monday or Tuesday. And then you'll see the posting. I'm sorry, we'll be sharing the information um, for public um, awareness Monday, Tuesday, but you'll actually see the documents and um, the new um, image on Wednesday like you would always at 2 p.m. Uh, so job wise, we do still have some a need for some part time help. So um, part time fire inspector and then summer workers at the pool, water and street department and park department general labor. So if you're interested um, in helping us out in those areas, check out the city website right on the home page. And then we're also still hiring for a street mechanic. Uh, next week at Council, I'm super excited to share that we'll be approving the hopefully um, the first set of appointments for the Youth Advisory Committee. So we received more applications than we had spaces, which um, is humbling and also disappointing. I wish we could have put everyone on the committee, but I'm so happy that there were so many youth in the community that were interested in serving. So um, the mentors of the Youth Advisory Committee went through and really created an appointment list that's that's diverse in the school, the age, the, air, the areas of interest and activity. So we tried to get just um, a, a wide amount of, of experiences and activities and interests in those that are getting put forward for appointment next week at the council. So very excited that we have our first youth advisory committee appointments. You will also see um, the annual report. We started that, I think last year um, was the first year we provided a citywide annual report and we'll be providing that again. So the council will see that. The fire department is also putting out their annual report. And then we will have um, a special recognition uh, for a community member uh, who um, has provided just a ton of time to the city. Assuming we have people submit for District 5, we will also do that next Tuesday at the council meeting. Uh, we have, you know, a lot of events starting to happen, which is just a sign of the positive times. Um, the farmer's market is starting next Tuesday, May 4th. That's from uh, 7 to 12. And then the Octagon House Museum opens tomorrow. Um, the Whiskey and Wine Walk is tomorrow. I think there's a spring quarter auction. There's live music. Watertown Tourism is overflowing with information. So if you can't find something fun and exciting to do, I know it's supposed to be fairly warm. If, if you can't find something fun and exciting to do on your own, I would encourage you to check out the Watertown Tourism website and Facebook page. So that's all that I have. Have a good weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week.